Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Sneaky Beagle, and today Sea of Thieves put out patch notes, and I'm going to give you my top five changes that are coming to the game that I'm excited about that I think change things for the better, and also about the video I was supposed to release today. Sea of Thieves ruined my plans. <laughs> but also, um, seriously, they changed something that I was saying in the last video that I had just finished editing and was going to upload for today, so now I have to go back to the editing room, so... Yay. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are on my second screen. I've got the Sea of Thieves patch notes pulled up. We're gonna start with number five and work our way to number one because that's the way the algorithm works. If you stay and watch longer, people recommend it more. Also, if you hit the like, comment, and subscribe and, and say, Beagle, we love you in the comments and, and say I was here and you know that kind of stuff, that, that all increases interaction. And so there you go, I'm in your head. Psychology, boom, it works. Let's jump in. So. Enhanced reporting has been added, helping identify scenarios where server performance can result in a reduction in hit detection accuracy. Again, I said it in the video that I released yesterday when I was reacting to the update. This is good news. They are consistently bringing it up in everything they release and not just in a, you know, the standard um, thing that they say at the end of uh, in areas of intense action, like we've been reading this for months. They're finally putting it in the main body. And this is good. Enhanced reporting means they are trying to actively solve this problem. So this gives me hope that hit registration is on its way to being fixed. I know that's overly optimistic, but I'm serious. I think this is solid. All right, on to number four, the visual effects when firing cannons are now triggered immediately, removing a perceived delay in launching cannonballs. You guys all felt it in the last update. Something broke and firing a cannon just didn't feel as good. It didn't feel as snappy. And I'll be honest, it threw me off a little bit at first, but I got over it. So this isn't like a, a huge game changer, but it is nice to see that they recognize that a lot of people were complaining about that and they are um, improving the way cannons feel when fired because this game, when you're firing cannons, you need immediate feedback on where that cannonball went and having that slight delay made it just that much more difficult to really hone in on your shots. So as a player who really likes to shoot cannons, um, this is a very welcome change and I'm glad they're going back to the way they used to feel. Okay, number three shooting while moving forwards and then sprinting and abruptly stopping should no longer cause the weapon reload animation to be cut short i can't tell you how many times i was aiming down the sights of my sniper and all i see is the scope thank you sea of thieves for fixing this challenge you know when you're in a battle and you're sprinting away and you don't you don't really think about the fact that you're reloading and you're trying to run away and you just accidentally hit sprint and then your gun jams and you just get this hopefully this fixes that issue and um this is what they're talking about that's what i think they're talking about you know when the reload animation was canceled and then you had issues with your weapons and stuff i'm hoping this is that ads bug that everyone talks about that that is very frustrating and i think this update we will see in 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 two more i think they fixed the double gun and i'm really excited about that okay on to number two here we have an audible wood splintering sound can be once again heard when ships take damage from a range of external sources thank you sea of thieves claps in the chat or comments rather sorry uh, this is good. I mean, this isn't like we don't need to spend a lot of time talking about this. I'm just happy they fixed it. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's nice to know that when I ram an island because I'm a shit helm, that I'll actually be able to hear that I got a hole. So thank you. Appreciate it. And on to our number one welcome change to the Sea of Thieves. Double gunning is back, but I'll probably stick with the sword pistol because I've just really been liking it. I like the mobility of the sword. However, when I need to switch to double gun and there's a noodle on the boat, I feel like I stand a chance again because this one right here, while aiming down sights with a ranged weapon, you no longer cancel the player's aim from a sword attack. Hallelujah. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> But anyway, I, this is just like, this is this is the reason that I had to cancel the YouTube video that I had already edited 
and, and ready to go because I had several comments about the sword stun and how I thought it was uh, giving the sword a buff that it didn't need. So I'm very, very happy to see this change. Although you could have waited until after I released my video and but then I would have had to go say update. I don't know. Look, anyway, I hope you guys appreciated this video, man. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. And until then, as always, stay sneaky, my friends.